Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mac if you're new here and today we're talking about designing with AI. Super excited to make this video for you. I'm going to show you all of the different cool AI features and a website that I absolutely love to use for print on demand designs for different types of digital product logos, websites, Etsy shop banners. You can use this for everything. So it's a little gem and I'm excited to share it with you today. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Mag. I post videos talking about e-commerce, how to make money online, lots to do with Etsy and print on demand, and overall just helping you make money online. <laughs> so if that sounds interesting to you, I'd love to have you as a part of our community here on YouTube. I want to share all the information that I know so that you can do everything that I do and get to the success of financial freedom from online income. It's absolutely crazy. So let's get into it. We're gonna pull up our website today, which is Kittle. Kittle is amazing. I'm so happy to work with them and to be able to share all the wonderful things that they have on their platform with you. And if you are unfamiliar with how much you can do with AI, pay attention. All right, so this is Kittle's website and I'm gonna show you kind of the tools that you can use for AI. So just going up here right off the bat, they have quite a few, but some of my favorite are the AI quote generator, which we will talk about, the AI image generator, and I love the AI art feed. So I'm gonna pop over to the AI art feed and show you some of the designs that people are making with this tool. So right off the bat here, you can just tell how beautiful and high quality these are. It absolutely blows my mind. This also is just such a cool space to come and look at and see how other people are creating with this AI to get you that inspiration if you're somebody that's you know looking for something in your niche or you've never designed with AI before. Really love these types of designs because they do great on print on demand products. So creating something like this in an AI, adding some text in it, you can put that on multiple different products. We have the patterns, which I just made a whole tutorial on if you haven't seen that yet i'll link it for you if you've never designed with ai before or used it at all how it works is you have to enter what is called a prompt and what a prompt is is a sentence describing what exactly you want the ai to create for you so what i love about this ai art feed is right here I see that this is a type of image that I would like. It's a vector image. So I can see by pulling this up what style was used and the exact prompt that this person used to get this image. So here's another one here, t-shirt graphic and exactly what their prompt was. And you can copy and paste these prompts into the AI tool as well to create something just like it, which is really nice. I really like this ornate style of Bumblebee. I feel I could create a pretty cool mug design or something using this. So what I'm gonna do is take this ornate type of style and keep in mind that I like vector art. All right, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like to create one of these using a prompt. So I've just started a new project on Kittle and over here on the left side, I go down to Kittle AI and here's where the magic happens. So as you see, they have an image generator and a logo generator. We're using the image generator um, to create something like I just showed you. So I'm just gonna simply paste in that prompt that we had on the AI art feed and I'm gonna go down and I like I like the prompt, but I liked the style of the pencil drawing. So I'm gonna try that out and hit generate image. It takes a few moments here. It is, you know, literally creating a photo for us. But once it's finished, we can then add text to it, add more AI graphics to it to really make it our own and sell on print on demand products. But wait till you see how quickly this creates an image for me that I can use in seconds. So beautiful image here. Like do you see how high quality and gorgeous this is? So depending on you know what you're creating, there's so many opportunities with this. So if I select the different image styles as well, this kind of shows you how many options you have with this. So digital art, anime, psychedelic, there's so many scenarios. Um, and then we have the clip art styles. So kawaii, line drawing, detail drawing, different ones, watercolor, our vectors, pencil drawing, um, line art, which is a really great print on demand designer. I'm gonna try this prompt with another style. So I did pencil drawing, but let's see what comes up when we do something else, just to get a different aesthetic. I'm gonna try vintage drawing and hit generate image. And again, it's just the same process of creating these beautiful, gorgeous images, depending on what it is you're creating for. 
So as you see, it just made us another beautiful image that we could use. And I'm just so impressed by the quality of these. I think that's a huge thing because I've used other AI designing tools before and the quality is just not it. Like you usually have to like resize the image and keep entering prompts and it's just like exhausting. But with this, do you see how quickly it makes these? It's really, really cool. Something else with AI that you can use too is notice how when I make a background color on this image, this first image has a white background on it. And if you know anything about print on demand or digital products, we always need to have a transparent background so that we don't have a big white square printed on our products. So another AI tool right over here, the AI background remover we can select that and it'll remove the background for us. So if you do get images that come up like that, don't panic. Look how easy it was to fix that issue. One click, literally. So here's another example. I kind of had an idea of creating something circular on a mug. This was the prompt that I typed in, starry night in the forest with white snowy flakes falling from the sky. And this just created a beautiful image that I could put on so many different types of products. I could keep this as it is, but let's check out another AI tool that's really great on Kittle as well and that is the quote generator so i can use the quote generator to make quotes for my designs and i know that sometimes when we're designing it can be hard to come up with things it can be hard especially if we're newer to designing in our niche so using this tool 10 out of 10. So all you do is you just select your niche or what it is that you're selling. There is a box to type it in if it does not come up for you. So for this i could type Christmas or snow or forest and then hit continue. And then I can select a mood of it and how many words I want. So we'll do two to four words and let's pick romantic and generate the quote. And check this out. It comes up with cute little sayings that you can use in your design. So, you know, depending on, you can be more specific, but it's just a really cool way to get more inspiration when you are creating. So just for an example, um, not that this is like, a super executed design, but just to show you what I mean here, I could take this AI generated um, starry night photo and then I can go up to the text and go into the different um, text templates. So I could use this one, make it a little bigger. Bear with me here, I have a vision. And I can delete the text that I don't want. So this just gave me a cute little circular text moment and then I can bring in the quote that I found. So let's say we want to use um, snowy love story. Sorry, again, this is just an example. You could get way more creative, but you see what I mean here of like how you can really create a design just in a few seconds using a template and the AI, it's really great. Um, and then what else is really cool is I can show you what this looks like on a product with more AI with their mock-up generator. So on the little thing here that says mock-up, look how beautiful it is creating mock-ups with this website. So I just really want you to see, I'm gonna type in mug I think this would look really good on a mug. Perfect. So check this out. Boom. How beautiful is that? And obviously, you know, we'd have to download this design that we just made, upload it onto our print provider, put it on our website before we create the mock-up and use the mock-up. So I really wanna just share with you my thoughts again with AI. And I know that there are a few things that people are intimidated by or that they feel it's not original art, but you can see how somebody with no design experience, which could be you, can create such beautiful things using these tools. They're here for us to use and adding our creativity onto it. You know, I wouldn't advise for you to just download an AI image um, off of the feed and use it. You know, that's not your original idea. Definitely, you know, generate something yourself and Kittle's cool with you using those on your products. So it's all good in that space. But I really encourage you to check this out. And me personally, I was somebody that did not want to get into AI. I was like, I don't need it. It's so silly. Like I had a conversation about this the other day and now that I use it so often, I'm like, this is such a lifesaver. It's so nice like to be able to use things like this that just help you. It's efficiency is what it is. Of course, Kittle will be linked for you below. If you do want to check them out, try it out in the description and on the screen. But thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you've tried Kittle, if you are going to use it after seeing this or just your thoughts in general. I'd love to have a chat about it in the comment section below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.